Hi all and welcome back to the channel and I hope you're all doing okay. Um, I wanted to bring you this video as close to the weekend as possible so that the new tyre allocation format that's being introduced for the Hungarian Grand Prix this weekend hopefully stays fresh in your mind um, as to how they're going to use the tyres throughout this qualifying session which they're going to use in two other races later on this year and I'll cover those uh, races shortly so anyway here we go. So, F1 will try a new tyre allocation format during qualifying for this weekend's Hungarian Grand Prix as part of its drive towards greater sustain sustainability, although questions still remain. Providing the qualifying session is dry, then the alternative tyre allocation, as it is known, will see the hard compound tyre used in Q1, the medium in Q2, and the soft for the top 10 shoot -out. Until now, teams have had a free choice as to which compound of Pirelli's tyres to use and when during qualifying. This system, which will again run in qualifying in the Italian Grand Prix at Monza in early September, uh, saves on two sets of Pirelli tyres across a race weekend, falling from 13 sets to 11. In addition, Pirelli is also using a trio of softer compounds in Hungary, the C3, the C4, and the C5 compared to last year. In terms of the mandatory tyres for each qualifying session, it is clear that there are pros and cons. The uncertainty relating to the latter should become more obvious once the format has been tried. Um, now James, James Vowles, Williams team principal, has had quite a lot to say on this, but anyway, he said, the idea is good, but I'm not sure what it's going to do. There's always a little bit of concern when you are slightly on the slower side. Is it going to be as easy to get the harder tyre to work? Are we actually going to split the field out? But the concept of trying it is exactly why we are doing it. It's just that we are unsure of what the other circumstances will be. What will happen to the field spread? In many ways, there will be positives on that harder tyre in the first session you'll you'll be able to not just get one lap out of it but multiple laps so you'll see more ca uh, cars going th around the track more laps being completed probably positive for the sport a possible uh, a positive outcome for it but will it make a, a bigger gap or make it more uh, predictable unsure yet which is exactly why we're running it as a format so open-minded and it might present a new direction of travel. Uh, Mike Crack of Aston Martin, um, he confirmed that the key phrase as used by Vowles is open-mindedness. He added, we need to try different things. Stefano, the Medicali F1 CEO, highlights this all the time. In this case, the idea behind it is less tyres, being more sustainable, uh, sustainable, sorry. so I think we have to applaud that initiative. Pirelli Motorsports director Mario Izola feels that with the two changes, the Hungarian Grand Prix, that's the tyre allocation format and the one step softer compounds, across the weekend, said, at least on paper it should lead to a wider range of options, particularly in the, team, in the terms of strategy. With regard to the alternative tyre allocation, Izola also said that after the race in Monza, the FIA, F1, and the teams will decide whether or not to adopt it for the next season. So there you go. That, in case you didn't know about the um, tyre allocations, that's that's everything we need to know at the moment. I thought it said two races, but obviously it might only be one after the Italian Grand Prix at Monza in September. Um, but I don't know how this is going to work. I mean, will it benefit the teams that are already are quite quick? Tyre management's not so much of a problem whereas the teams that are still towards the back of the grid are still going to have troubles warming their tyres up, especially on the uh, harder compounds uh, in, Q, in Q1. And it's quite difficult. But anyway, yeah, feel free to let me have your thoughts. And if you like what I do, please like and subscribe and press the notification bell uh, for future warnings of my uploads. Sorry for the slightly rushed video, but I don't want it going on too long and boring anyone. Um, but until the next time, take care. Cheers all.